Hello, welcome fellow traders, AMP Futures here presenting another how-to video. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate how to create bracket orders using the TradingView mobile app. Now, if you're not familiar with what a bracket order is, essentially the main component of a bracket order is what we call an OCO, which stands for Order Cancels Other. This is going to allow you to be very efficient. For example, you can preset a profit target, also known as a take profit or a stop loss to your position. So if either one of those orders get filled, the other order will be automatically canceled out. So essentially, it's, not, it's, it's more of an automated, automated way to manage your positions whenever you're using the TradingView mobile app and also make it a lot more efficient for you to, to a, have a covered bracket order around your positions as well. Now, there are three different ways that you can initiate a bracket using the TradingView mobile app. You can do it post-trade after you enter a position from the positions display, which I'll show in, the mo in a moment. You can also do it directly off the chart, and you can also do it from the order ticket. So we're going to go and demonstrate all three different ways. All right, so first, let's go ahead and demonstrate how to do it post-trade after we enter the position from the position display. So right now, we're looking at the micro E-mini S&P 500. This is an exchange-traded futures contract that trades on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. You'll notice the buy and sell buttons at the top there. Those are market orders. I'm just going to go and get into a simple market order here. So I'm going to hit the blue buy button at the top. Looks like we got filled at 5495 so now we have a long position at 54.95. Now this is a naked position because we don't have any stop loss to protect our long position and we don't have any limit orders to offset us at a profit. So now what we wanna do is we wanna be able to attach a take profit and stop loss, also known as bracket order. So how we do that, we wanna make sure we click the AMP logo at the top there to the right of the buy market button at the top of the chart. And this is gonna take us into our account summary section for our account. So right now we're using a demo account. But this is allow you to see. This is going to allow you to see different things such as positions, orders, history, account summary, and more. The tab that we want to focus on is positions, and then we want to make sure under the sub tabs we're on net positions. All right, now you can actually see the position display. So again, we're long one micro e mini S and P five hundred at fifty four ninety five. You can see the average price, but notice there's no take profit or no stop loss. So again, it's a naked position. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click the open position display with our finger, and this is going to bring up this little context menu, and we want to select protect position. Now you can activate a take profit and a stop loss. Now there are multiple ways to activate the take profit and stop loss. You can do it on ticks based off the entry price, exact price, US dollar value, as well as percentage. I like to keep it simple, so I'm going to go and use the tick parameters and set an 8 tick profit target as well as an 8 tick stop loss. Oops. It's nine, not eight. All right, so you can see there, as I set the tick parameters for eight tick take profit and eight tick stop loss, all the other fields below it adjust accordingly. So it's all personal preference on how you wanna set the bracket orders. I'm specifically choosing the tick value for now by setting eight and eight. Once you're done and ready to place the bracket order, hit the modify button. And now you can see the take profit and stop loss is now in place. So let's just review it, make sure everything's correct. Remember, we set an eight tick take profit, eight tick stop loss, which is two points on the micro S&P 500. You can see we're long one contract at 54.95. There's our take profit at 54.97, which is exactly eight ticks. And there's our stop loss at 54.93. And this is how you apply a bracket order after you enter the trade from the position display using the TradingView mobile app. Now let's go ahead and demonstrate how to place bracket orders directly off the chart if you're using chart trading using the TradingView mobile app. Let's get back to our chart. All right, All right. so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna first identify a specific price level. Now there's two things, there's two ways you can apply a bracket order off the chart trading. You can attach it to pending orders, such as limit orders and stop orders, or you can also attach it to an already established position when you're already in the market. So let's first demonstrate how to apply a bracket order to pending orders, such as limit orders and stop orders. So right now, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna identify a specific price level where we wanna enter the, the position. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter it above the current market price, which is 54.94 and a half. We'll just do any random price, let's just say 55.0775. All right, now we're gonna hit the little plus sign here and we're gonna place a specific order where we wanna get into the position. So let's just say, for example, I wanna place a short position at 55.07.75 on a limit order. So I'm gonna select that within the context menu and now you can actually see the, wor the order is actually working on the chart itself. There's LMT, which represents limit order. It's a red box, which represents a sell transaction with a quantity of one. The little X there just allows you to cancel out the order, but you can actually see the order is visibly working on the chart. Again, this is a naked order, meaning there's no protective take profit, there's no protective stop loss, or I don't wanna say protective take profit, but a, in order to get us out of the profit and also a protective stop loss. We don't have that in place just yet. 
So now I'm going to demonstrate how to apply that to this working order display. The first thing you want to do is make sure you click with your finger on the working order display itself. What you're looking for is the TP and SL to display to the left of it, as you can see now. If I click anywhere else outside the chart, it goes away. If I click it again, it reactivates it. So by clicking the working order display turns the activation of brackets on and off. So there's off and there's back on. All right, that's the first step. Now you want to make sure you start dragging the TP and SL to your desired prices with your finger to actually place those bright, the stop orders and the take profit. So this is going to be a short position at 5507.75. So our stop loss has to be above our short entry. That's going to be our buy stop. So I'm going to take my finger and just simply hover it over SL and hold it down. And what we're going to do is just simply drag to the desired price level. All right, I'm holding it down still. I'm going to release it. And now you can see we have a buy stop ready to go at 5511.50. Now you can notice the TP goes away to the left of the open uh, working order display. So we have to reactivate it by clicking on it again. And now you can see TP appears. So I'm going to do the same exact thing with TP. We're going to take it and just drag it down and we're going to release it while holding down once we're at the set desired price where we want to place that take profit. All right. All right. Now you can see that once that parent order gets filled, when I you're going to hear me refer to parent order often in this particular video, the parent order is the initial order to get you into the position. And then the child orders are the take profit and stop loss orders to offset your position. So the parent order right now is the sell limit at 5507.75. And the child orders will be generated once the parent order is filled which is the take profit at 5503 and the buy stop at 5511.50. Another thing that I want to point out, it's a little hard to, to, to tell, but if you look closely, you'll kind of see that the parent order, the sell limit at 5507.75, is kind of like a darker shade. It looks a little more, you can see it more, versus the, uh, the, the buy stop and the buy limit. It's kind of more of a transparent. You can see there's like a little dotted line um, above the box. That's just letting you know that those orders aren't working just yet because the parent order hasn't been filled. So that's kind of giving you an indication that yeah, you, your buy stop and take profit are in place, but it's not working just yet because it has to have the parent order get filled in order for the actual child orders to be generated. All right. So the, and also another thing you'll notice too is you'll see dollar values as well, which is kind of cool. You can see, for example, if we were to get stopped out at fifty-five eleven and a half, I'm going to lose eighteen dollars and seventy-five cents on that single contract position before commissions and fees, or if I get filled on my profit target at 5503, I'm gonna make $23.75. Now just keep in mind that's before commissions and fees, and also the main benefit here is the OCO factor that I mentioned in the beginning of the video, which is called order cancels other. If either one of those orders get filled, you're gonna automatically cancel out the other remaining order on that leg. So here's an example, if I were to cancel out the parent order before the parent order gets filled, watch what happens to the, the take profit and stop loss, you can see it gets canceled along with it as well. So anytime you use an OCO bracket order with TradingView mobile app, whenever you close positions or cancel orders, those bracket orders will also be canceled because it's all tied in together. So that's an example of how to apply a bracket order to a pending order such as a limit order or a stop order. Now here's an example, I'm just going to get into a long position here. All right. All right, now we're actually in the position. So we got filled at 5494.75. And you can see that at the moment that we don't have a take profit or stop loss in place. So now we need to apply the bracket order. So this is the exact same method really as what I just demonstrated to attaching a bracket to a pending order. The only difference this time is we're actually in the position this time. So we wanna make sure we click on the open position display with our fingers and notice the same thing. It activates the TPSL. If I click off it, it goes away. If I click it again, TPSL, you can see it. So you're looking for that TP and SL to be displayed. And now we're doing the same exact thing. This time we're, sh we're long, so we wanna make sure we bring our stop loss below the entry price. All right, there we go. And now we're gonna do the same thing with TP. We're gonna drag it up, oops, and release, okay. All right, and now you can see that we actually have a sell limit and a sell stop in place. Let's just check the account summary. You can see here, net positions. There's our long position at 5494.75, and there's our take profit at 5498 and a quarter, and our stop loss at 5492 and a half. Go back to the chart. You can see it's all in place. And look at notice now, the child orders no longer have like that dotted bracket. You can see now that's an actual working order because we're in the position now. We're making $1.25 on the trade at the moment. So that's the difference when you can tell when the actual orders are working, you're not gonna see that dotted box around the child orders. Now watch what happens when I close out the position. You can see the child orders are also canceled alongside with it. All right, and that's how you apply a bracket order using the chart trader feature to both pending orders and after the fact when you enter a position post-trade. 
And then last method that I want to show how to apply bracket orders from the traditional order ticket. Let's go ahead and activate a price level. Click the plus sign here. We're going to select create new order. And this is what the order ticket looks like. So you can basically, very simple way of placing trades. You can place a sell order, buy order. You can place market orders, limit, stop, stop, limit. And then we're going to use an example here going long at the market price. But notice you can see now take profit and stop loss. So just the same exact thing. You're going to set your parameters for your take profit and stop loss. We're going to use the same exact parameters of eight ticks for both. And now we're going to hit buy market. All right, and let's take a look at our position display and make sure everything's correct. So it looks like we got filled at 54.94 and a half. Remember, it was eight ticks on both the take profit and stop loss. There's our take profit at 54.96 and a half. Stop loss at 54.92 and a half. All right, so you can see how efficient that was. I was able to set those parameters before entering the position. And once I got the position established, take profit and stop loss has automatically been applied based on the parameters that I set. All right, let's close out this position. And the last example, let's go ahead and show you now how to place a bracket order to a pending order using the order ticket. So this time we'll go short. Let's just use a sell stop this, uh, as, as an example this time. So right now we're bid 94 quarter by 94 and a half. So we wanna make sure that our sell stop is gonna be below that price. So let's just do 54.92. All right, now we're gonna attach a take profit and stop loss. Let's just keep it simple, eight ticks for both again. Everything looks good, we're gonna hit sell stop. All right, now let's check to make sure everything is in place correctly. All right, so if we're gonna go short, 54.92, that means our buy stop's gonna be at 54.94. You see the stop loss, 54.94, and there's our take profit at 54.90, all right? So again, you have to make sure that the parent order gets filled first before those child orders are generated, but you can see here, it's clearly in place, so you know that you're gonna have a bracket order ready to go once that stop gets filled at 54.92. And this is how you apply bracket orders using the TradingView mobile app.